Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and I'm with Live, Craft & Love. If this is your first time uh, joining me, thank you for being here and welcome. I am here today to walk you through my uh, DT project for CountryCraftCreations.com. Um, I used the Gal Meets Glam collection and I went ahead and I created a trifold folio. Um, kind of like to... I call it my teen trifold folio only because it's more like a, I feel like it's a teen collection, you know, a young, a young adult, young lady to keep like diary memories, pictures of them in high school or whatever the case might be, a trip, um, but it's meant to hold photos and to hold journaling sp spots. So um, I, w I am done with it. I'm going to go ahead and go through the walkthrough. Um, it does have a seam binding closure as you can see right here. Um, in the front, I went ahead and I matted a 5x5 five five square, scalloped edge the, the corners. Um, I, this is a sticker from the sticker collection that I stickled around and also three stickers that are tags that I backed on cardstock and I did have like a little section like if they want to tuck in something right here they can go ahead and do that. I surrounded also everything else by flat back pearls that I received in my DT package as well. The spines are two inches. I double matted both spines just like so and the back has the same um, double mat pattern paper now when you open it up it, it does have a seam binding closure so you open it up and it like i said it's a trifold folio so it opens up all the way i created two pockets in the front and the back cover the pockets hold little mini journals these are stickers from the sticker collection and it's just plain um, sketching paper is what i used and i actually threaded the journals um, and this goes right here like i said it's meant for um, to keep kind of like a little diary slash journal whatever the case the, for the person might want to use it they can like put little pictures and then write about them in here and they have separate little journals for whichever occasion they want to write about um, then here let me go ahead and open this side up here you have this is another sticker element from the sticker collection another flat back pearl this right here is perfect for a photo and you flip it up and down and the same thing they can either journal or put photos here and here as well when you turn it over <clears throat> this has a little pocket now I did use an envelope and I matted the envelope with the design paper and inside the envelope is a little card so they can either put a picture and write about it and keep it in here and then they can also just stick some more stuff in there if they want to and slip that right into that pocket now this can have inserts if you choose. I did not put inserts yet, but I'm thinking I'm probably going to add inserts here for the four pages. <clears throat> the next page has a pocket here and a little tag that they can also journal on. You can also add another little you know, booklet or whatnot. I probably might add a little bit more to this um, later on. Um, because I am going to put this up for sale. If anybody's interested in purchasing it, all they have to do is just email me. My email email will be down below, and I will be adding all these extras that I'm to, uh, I'm talking about. Um, you turn the page over, and I love this layout. I'm really hoping that my camera is catching this. And I think it is, yeah. Um, I love this layout. It, it's just so pretty. So this is four by four pictures here, and this is a accordion fold fold out. Let me pull it this way, so you can see. So a total of nine four by four pictures can fit on both each one of these pages. Uh, so a total of 18 photos they can fit on here and they don't have to be all photos if they choose to they can go ahead and you know journal on them if they want or what the whatever the case might be but I, I figured yeah, there's a lot of more there's a lot of room for journaling everywhere else in this book so I figured that would be a good spot for pictures okay now in the middle this is the back cover I also went ahead and made another little mini a uh, little journal using sketch paper. It's rather thick, so it's not flimsy like print printing paper. And again, I stitched it, and here's a pocket where it goes. Now, the other side of the album is the exact same thing. Here is a fold out, um, water, not waterfall, um, accordion fold. Here's a tag with the pocket, and here is a little envelope with the little card. And that gets tucked back in here. If you turn the page, here is a double fold out for pictures or journaling if they choose. And again, here is the last little journal. 
So this is my um, project. November was a very, very difficult month for me. Um, to a lot, a lot of obstacles came my way. Um, so I finally, thank you God, I finally uh, went ahead and I finished my project. So this is the first project that I completed. Now the second project I completed is an altered box that goes with the album kind of like a keepsake box this box is meant to hold this album inside now the front cover again the front cover oh my gosh the top of the box the box is rather big it measures let me see where's my ruler it measures about 10 by eight and a half eight and three quarters so in the front, the top of the box, I went ahead and I matted the same design paper that the um, trifold has. I double matted it the same way I did here, except here I used the plaid paper. And this is a little shaker mason jar, you see that? That I mounted on foam tape. I, I, I received this in Happy Mail, so I didn't create it, but I thought it was rather very, very pretty and it added a lot to the box. I added some trim here that I also received in Happy Mail and some beautiful lace as well that I received in Happy Mail along with the flowers in the corners. Now the sides of the box, all I did was I matted the box with the authentic ivory white um, cardstock all the way around and I used the flat back pearls that I got also in my DT kit um, to kind of give it a middle trim on the edge all the way around. And that's it. That's all I did to this box. And this is my second project using the same collection. I did not have to purchase any extra paper. All the the one collection with a few extra little authentic uh, um, solid colored sheets was all I used. When I open it up, now this box did come in like a silverish yeah, uh, soft pink color so I didn't really do much to the box because I like the way that look looked because if you place the folio the folio inside it actually the the silver lining inside and the soft pink goes with the folio that's why I chose this box to go with it so not much was needed to do but you can also go ahead and you know mat the sides and the bottom and you should have enough paper to do so what I did with the extra paper is I went ahead and I altered a little composition book journal so that way I can go ahead and add this also to the box. So this now can be a little diary that goes along with the folio. And this is paper from the paper collection as well. So in the end, the journal goes here, the folio goes inside, and then the box gets closed down. And this can fit right into, you know, a teenager's shelf, um, under her bed, you know, in a drawer somewhere. It's perfect. So like I said, I will be having this up uh, for sale along, it's the entire thing, the little little composition book, the trifold folio, and the box, the keepsake box that goes with it. So if in any case you're interested in it, please email me. The email will be down below. Um, but this is what my project is for Country Craft Creations. I loved, loved the paper. All the links to everything that I used will also be in the description box. Um, I'm hoping that you all enjoyed the tutorial and I can't wait to get started on all of the Christmas crafts that we're going to be working on, that I'm going to be working on, and I can't wait to get my next DT kit. I know I'm late, but I promise I will catch up and I will give you guys all the the um, projects as soon as I receive that DT kit. So I'm super, super excited. You know, the month of November is behind me and I want to keep it there. Uh, so I'm ready to move forward and I'm so glad to be back. Thank you guys so much for being patient with me I love each and every one of you so so much as always live passionately craft often and love endlessly Don't forget to like and be subscribed to the channel. Bye now. Big hugs